And um, now he's gonna have to talk to the police. And I just keep thinking if I had said something or done anything differently that this wouldn't have happened. Listen, you and I both know regret is not going to make your situation with Mitch any better. But that's what the problem is, Theo. It's me. It's like nothing is going right. Everything that I touch goes to crap. Did you want to use a stronger word than that? It's not easy to admit that I'm failing. You're not failing. At everything. I'm failing at my profession. I'm failing at being a mother. Everything right now is Listen, I know raising a child isn't easy, okay? I have my problems with Lucas as it is, but the point is, you can't give up. You gotta try, babe. I just need Mitch to be okay. I understand that. Alright, I do, but what about you? Don't you want you to be okay? I just, everything I do right now is for him. I just need to make sure that Mitchell is gonna be all right. Don't talk like that. Listen, we're still gonna be there for our sons, but you're wrong. You do matter. You matter to Mitch, even though it doesn't seem like it right now. Honestly, you matter a hell of a lot to me. I mean that. I know your mom's been going through a lot. I know. I know, Uncle V. Uncle V? I haven't heard you call me that since you were little. Remember that time I caught you nibbling like a little chipmunk and a little carrot? Mitch Pippy! Mitch uh, Pippy! Remember that? Remember that? It hurt. Yeah, I know. That's my man. Mitch, you're a good kid. You always have been. I know it's been rough lately, but you're going to have to trust that one day it's going to work out. And your mother, she's really going through a hard time. I know, but I just, I just keep seeing the car accident in my mind. I keep seeing Angel. It's hard, you know? It's hard. Shot. Just so you know, I am not hanging out with those guys anymore. I am not going through what I went through. Boom, there you go. My job is done. I knew you couldn't beat me, I knew it. What? Please, I just kicked your ass by 20 points. It's just a matter of time before the neighbors dial 911 because I'm beating your ass that bad. Watch this. Oh, Uncle V. Pay attention. Hello. Oh, Virginia. Hi. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Ella, right? Mm -hmm. Hey. 
It's nice to see you again. Yes. What can I get for you? This is your bakery. Mm -hmm. Clarence told me about it, and it's nice. Thank it's you. Nice. Yeah, this baby was a lot of work. Yeah. Speaking of babies, there must be a lot of baby talk flying around your group, huh? I know you probably haven't heard, but I lost the baby. It was just too stressful of a time, but I got me. I'm so sorry. When everything happened with Terrence, I just I can see how it would have. It's fine. I mean, it's, it was a rough time for all of us, but we're hoping to get him home healthy again, and maybe there'll be more baby talk. So, <laughs> well, for you and Terrence, sure, but of course, there's still Claire. Claire. I've been trying to reach that girl. I haven't really spoken to her myself. I actually found out through Lana. I'm not sure when she's doing. Wait. Are you telling me that Claire is pregnant? So I fired Rousseau. Really? It was useless. I know he's so anxious. I can't have a guy like that representing me. What's up with the twitching? So, who's the lucky guy that replaced him? Girl. Oh. Our director of outreach, Maxine. I promoted her. She makes our campaign look good. I'm sure she's on top of it. <laughs> she's all over it. Senator. These papers need your signature. Miss Dahl. Miss Richards. Did you hear about my promotion? I did. I'm sure you spent a lot of late nights at the office when over their desk. It's always a pleasure to see you, Miss Dahl. Keep up the hard work. What's going on with Claire? I need her. My campaign needs her here. It seems she's entered into a contract. I'm not entirely comfortable with, but I'll take care of it this evening. A contract? What are you talking about? Let me worry about Claire. You worry about your two foot short skirts out there. What I'm worried about, Lana, is my campaign. And if there's a secret, I need to know about it. So, you're ready to hear about Claire's special friendship? Special friendship? It seems that this woman, Ella, has a particularly strong hold on her. In English, Lana. Your wife is sleeping with a woman, Eric. Ella and Claire are having an affair. I have what you want. Remy, what the hell are the two of you doing in here? How the hell did you get in? We're not even open yet. You always could make some yummy shit, Ella. Just, just get out. I'm not in the mood to deal with this shit. I will do. I will go where I want, just like you did. In fact, I'm enjoying it here so much. I just like it, just like you did. You like it here, don't you, baby? I'm, I'm trying to get your money together. I, I just need a bit more time. You've had plenty of time. Well, I need more. Oh, oh. Feeling a little bit generous. I will give you. 48 hours to get that cash. I know a little birdie who's gonna sing, sing, sing. What, what bird? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about your little sweetheart, Claire, Ella, and her Oh, believe, I have eyes and ears all over this And I will below the top of this perfect little life you think you have. If you do anything to hurt Claire, I swear. 
48 hours, baby cakes. Bye. I thought I'd find you here.